Okay, so guys, um, I'm starting uh, with obviously the skin complex um, product. Hourglass is known for their complex product. So um, I was kind of tempted to pick up a couple of eyeshadows. I added to my cart and they were having some sale, but then I said, you know what? I don't want to buy the eyeshadows just because I want to do this video. Am I going to use it going forward? So, and then I, you know, I talked myself out of it because I'm just going to be honest. I am not going to use it uh, unless I get it really good price. Even though they were like uh, $49, it was on sale. Usually they're like 50 some dollars, right? So I said, no, I'm not going to spend 40 some dollars for four or five. I'm going to put a picture right here. This is what it looks like. And I was kind of tempted to buy two of the quads, two of the palettes. So I didn't do that and I'm very happy about that. So today I'm just going to show you all the complex product. I know Hourglass is coming out with their, already came out. Uh, probably you guys have seen it on Trend Mood um, on their Instagram post that they just launched a couple of uh, these type of product, the complex product. But our, I already bought a bunch of these uh, complex products that suits for my skin tone and my skin color. So I didn't buy it last year. It, they launched, it's called Ghost something. That's the collection name used was. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with uh, these our gloss product and let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing i wanted to what i have here in my little collection is um this foundation vanish stick right here i absolutely love it i don't always use it but this is one of my go-to and my shade color here i have is a sand so this is what i'm just going to go ahead and use when they launched this uh, foundation my goodness they sold out and everybody and their mother were talking about this and i i don't know if you guys remember but it was like a big talk in the town okay so i'm just going to go ahead and use my dry microfiber uh, blender right here to blend this foundation so i forgot to use this uh, product right here i don't have the whole full set or the thing right here i just have this little sample and i will recommend this one good um, primer that gives you like a you know very smooth look and it does have a spf 15 i did not know that so which is always a great okay so now i'm just gonna go ahead do my eyes and i'll be right back just the shimmery products that i bought last year also from the collection the ghost collections or whatever it came with that time uh so this is the three in one set although i have this one here which is a foil and this one also comes in a foil if you like are interested in instead of buying like a whole thing you could just get the three all i believe they still have it try to get these little ones because you get three and like a little bit expensive than buying one so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and top it up with that but let me go ahead and do my eyes and i'll be right back okay so i'm back and this is what i have on Today is officially fall and um, obviously I'm having pumpkin spice or cold brew, pumpkin, cold brew, whatever it is. You know what I mean, okay? So yeah, so today I thought maybe I should do something like a little bit of, um, you know, pumpkin looking eyeshadow, I guess. So I use this palette here. This is by Juvia's uh, palette. This is the color looks like definitely great for fall and so what i did is on my eyes i used the shade the shade and on the outer corner i put this one uh, this one is very buildable which is a good thing it's it doesn't have like that kick up or it doesn't like gets on your eyes right away and gives you that smoky eyes uh, so i had to go quite a few times with the brushes to get this little bit of a smoky look and then also I uh, finally got my nails done. As you can see, they're two different colors and has a stain because I'm Indian and I obviously use my fingers to eat. And with the spices that we cook, I was eating with my hand and this um, color turned into green color, which is, I don't care and I don't mind. And that's why I have two different colors in case if you're wondering. 
So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and use the foil um, shadow on top. So this is foil right here, and then this one right here is a molten, which is this color right there. And then this one right here, the top one is ray and that's what it looks like today go with the foil and then top it up with the ray so let's see how that turned out and this is what it looks like you guys probably have seen it already and when you have fingers like this big it's so hard sometimes to get it out so i'm just going to scrape it out and then put it on top of my lid these foil sh shades or shadows are really great if you're going for a party for a holiday party or uh, any kind of wedding events or some kind of party you know these are just great for events and stuff do the ray on top of it so this is what it looks like i need to do a little bit vibrant on my outer corner the v-shape and then let's see how it looks now i'm going to go ahead and use this little tiny pen i have and you guys know that i love this uh pen uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a liner, a create a liner, and then do mascara. For my mascara, I have this one, the Caution Mascara. I have little size right here, and I definitely love both of the products. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have a lot of fallout uh, from those shimmery uh thingy this right here let me show you which concealer obviously you know this is my concealer i always use and um, my shade here is a sepia in case if you haven't checked any other uh, of my other videos and if you're new here welcome to my channel and we do play with a little bit of makeups and do some hauls and beauty stuff so if you like that don't forget to subscribe okay so this is what it looks like my concealer and now i'm going to go ahead and set it up with the hourglass avail setting powder and it's been a while i haven't used this product and this is what it looks like and i'm just going to go ahead and use my sponge this is the microfiber sponge once again and i'm just going to set underneath my eyes now for my whole face i'm just going to go ahead and use this oldie but goodie um quad right here this palette and this was one of my first purchases i believe and it came out a while ago and this is their like one of the top sellers this is what i like to use and what i do is go with bloop you know the whole three <laughs> shades and or the powder and go all over my face so now i'm going to go ahead and show you these two palettes i bought and this is the one that's ghost palette i bought last year and this one year before that i think and this one came with all these shades and this has pretty much uh, blushes and these um, powder if you can one of these palette i think you're good to go like i have here i have this a specific extra uh, blush and then also i bought this blush uh, a while ago this one right here is a dean infused blush right here and the incandescent uh, electra um, that's the shade and then also I bought the bronzer separate and to just check and see how it is this one right here is the uh, diffused bronzer light that's what I got and then also here I bought another bronzer the whole like full thing and this one here is the radiant bronzer in light so this is the shade looks like and this one is the ghost palette this one also comes with all these matte shades as well which they probably just launched like this uh four in one quad and if you have this one definitely don't need another palette and this one has a blush uh, a little bit of blush shimmery this one has a shimmer uh, highlighter uh, setting powder if you want to and then also bronzer so as you can see i do have a medium skin tone and this product right here does go really well and i absolutely love this product and i do highly recommend now for my bronzer i'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here this little bronzer right here is really nice to um you know for to go and if you're traveling then you can always take this with you as you can see 
like how little it is this one's $24 this one's like 54 something like that and I'm gonna go ahead and use this blush um, right here now I do also have this one right here this is was a collection with the ghost uh, theme this is what it looks like so the one they're trying to launch is this four and one that looks like this this quad right here but this is the last year ones as you can see all these uh, complexion product I have I only have one face two cheeks and I'm good to go I'm probably set for the rest of my life you know unless they have something really incredibly cute go ahead and use also these three shades right here just go like that and you know the great thing about our hourglass is no matter how much you layer they look just great you know they don't look cakey you saw I just put so many powders right on top of my cheek you know I went with the contour product I went with the bronzer I went with the four different blushes and still I don't have that cakey look now for the highlight portion I'm gonna go ahead and go with this palette and this is one of my go-to palette these are the highlights so for the last year ghost theme that they also had so I picked this one up this one called Chris and this is what it looks like it's like a daily used nude color that you cannot go wrong with and then this one right here is called you inspire and this is what it looks like these are like really really creamy product and they melt right into your lips these are the color right here this one right here is more like magenta reddish color and this one is my go-to color obviously you can see and you can switch this one and put this one in and these are so cute because it looks like you know one of those pen looking also it's kind of dangerous because you can just like dagger somebody you know and then for the lip gloss i have this one right here called child and this is the lip gloss i don't wear lip gloss nowadays because you know we are uh, in pandemic you have to wear these masks and obviously i wasn't into these glosses anyway but um i do like this gloss right here so for my uh, lip liner i just used this one right here is called savage rose right here from charlotte tilbury i did not pick anything from hourglass so i wouldn't be able to tell you and obviously i overline my lips so now to finish the look i'm just gonna go ahead and set my face using this bell setting spray and just shake it before you use it it's not just like shoots on your face the spritz is really nice So guys, this is the final and finished look. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the and um, you know, pick and choose what you think is best and suitable for your skin. I am just showing you with my skin tone and if you are my type of skin tone, definitely now you can tell which one is going to be better for you and that's the reason I like to watch videos and before I purchase something, I do uh, sometimes go and watch medium skin tones color and stuff like that so that way if i'm ordering it online then i definitely have some kind of ideas like how it looks um on medium skin tone so this is what i'm just doing for you out of all these stuff that i have on from this uh you know hourglass uh, everything i love but do you really need all these collection product i mean like all these stuff i don't think so so this product right here that was my ver very first purchase from hourglass and that's how i start collecting all these other stuff so if you are in market and they never had hourglass product before especially the collection you know the complex uh, product definitely recommend one of these uh, compact palette and if you pick one of these you'll be fine and for the lip gloss just to show you this has a minty smell and this is what it looks like so i don't like to put it all over my lips because i do already have the lipstick so that's why i just like to put it on a pout so it looks you know, juicy and bigger with that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and take take off today i can't even talk um take off today and i'll catch you on my next video till then you guys stay safe and healthy Mwah.